Trade alert. Wee wee. There was a trade. It was a big trade. <laughs> there was a fire fight. There's a weird trade, Trev. Trev these are weird kind of your two teams. Can you play the sound effect for a weird trade? Mariners Brewers. Oh snap! That was lit. Ball coach ball game coming. I think he is. Love Coach Ball. He's, he sent a message. We'd love to he's see. Like on the, he's like in movies now. Yeah, he's in movies. Every in movies. mom's dream, me and Coach Ball game. So there were rumors that the Brewers were shopping Boring Colton Milk. Wong, and there was rumors that the Mariners were uh, an interested party in acquiring Colton Wong, and they do acquire Colton Wong, and the Brewers get Jesse Winker, friend of the program, uh, has a scooter gang that Trevor's not. Mm-hmm part of Whatever. and Toro two guys the Mariners just traded for is that not Mariners ball that's Mariners baseball baby this just a revolving like a door Milwaukee trade this is exactly like what you would expect from both of these teams I mean this is my one big takeaway on this yes like, you said I you had a can, take yeah we can dive into you know the actual trade but I think this takes the Mariners out of the running for a shortstop. Like they were talking about Trey Turner. They were tra- talking about one of the guys there moving J.P. Crawford somewhere, blah, blah, blah. Unless they make more moves, which is obviously possible. I mean, this sets up Wong and J.P. at the middle, which, by the way, how fun is that? Those two dudes up the middle? But for a while, they were talking about that. Let's bring in one of these big free agent shortstops, and, and we'll see what happens with J.P. But now it looks like they don't of, sign right free now, agents, though. They just make trades. But I, I, I think we're due for one, man. Uh, well, they got Robbie Ray. Cause, cause Robbie Ray. Robbie Ray. Robbie Ray. I, I, think, I think we're going to see them bring in more bats. Right now, the bottom of their lineup is a little thin. Uh, Kelnick, Tom Murphy, uh, and not sh- shots fired at J.P. Crawford. J.P. Crawford's solid, but there, there's very little pop down there. So I wouldn't be shocked if, if they go out and get a power bat to either outfield or DH or something like that. Um, but you know, the Mariners, I mean, the coolest part about them is uh, so often we talk about teams either being in their window or wanting to be in their window. They know they're in their window and they're constantly making these moves. Like we were hyped when they brought in Jesse Winker. It didn't work out great. Um, who, who knows injury or adjusting to league or, or wherever the balance ended up landing, but it, you know, for Jesse Winker is a down year. Uh, and, you know, Milwaukee likes to find value and in Jesse Winker for a year and Toro for maybe a couple years, they may have gotten that. Where Colton Wong, I mean, plug and play, you know what you're going to get. You're going to get gold glove defense. You're going to get a bat who battles. Um, so I, I like it as a starting move for Seattle. I want to see, I mean, we we talk about the Rangers are making moves. The Halos have made moves. And the Astros are the big bad wolf. Like, if you're going to really do this, like, you kind of have to keep going. So I want to see what that is. Trev, you had your hand raised. You did raise your hand. Again, I'm not really going to talk about the trade specifically, but I'm going to talk about the effects of it. Okay. I think that Winker going to Milwaukee is huge for Christian Yelich. Mm. Oh. I think Christian Yelich might be huge for Jesse Winker. Mm. Winker brings that, like, he's got confidence, bro. Like, he's got big dick energy. Okay. I'm going to give that to him, okay? And I think You're they You're going to give Jesse Winker your big dick energy. Uh, yeah, I think he has it. Okay. So Noted. I think him going over there is going to do well for Yelly. And then Yelly and him talking, talking swings in the cage. Like, I just like the combination of the two. I think I think Yelly needs some of that mf around him because he's not that way. You know, he's very nice and, you know, like, I think he needs a little bit of that rubbing onto him, if you Ooh. know what I mean. I want to find out what Milwaukee's – really doing are they you know there's some story here about winker and seattle and did he not like it there possibly was there something about playing there like when the brewers traded for willie adamas and he said i couldn't see at the trap and then they got you know something like that because it seems very much it seems odd why would the mariners give up on Winker, who they just went out and got as like kind of the prize big trade, and it's one down year where the team did well. I don't know. I know there's prospects coming up and all this other stuff. And then, where is Toro? Is Toro going to be part of the Brewers? I don't know. I don't. So know. he going to 
like triple A? Was he part of yeah, this? Yeah, he, he he has an option left. He didn't really have a good year last year, but a reclamation project, obviously a guy that has some pedigree and they think that he has some tools and can and fix it. It's a very Milwaukee move. You know, they believe they can develop players. They believe they can find things in guys. So I think that's what they're seeing in Abraham Toro here. Well, does the Toro trade originally look awful now? It was the Kendall Graveman and Montero Kendall one. Graveman. Graveman and Montero just helped win a World Series. And you're packaging Toro with another guy you traded for? For I mean, another guy for one year? The Graveman part of it's kind of fine. The Montero, I mean, that's Houston BS. Like, what, what they did to him and where he's at now. Um, but, yeah, I, I mean, not great, but, I hey. Why know. doesn't it say he's been traded again here? They don't update that as quick as you'd think. And I don't know. No, not to be shots fired at baseball reference. But sometimes that that lags a little behind. Just lags a little bit sometimes. Okay. And and credit Mariners, like their bullpen was very deep this year. So uh, they don't necessarily miss two bullpen guys that they trade. No, but you could have got other could have got other stuff. Could have done, done another move. Could have done another move. Could have got someone else. Yeah, could have got someone else in return. I don't know. They just make so many fucking trades. It's yeah. crazy. It's crazy how many trades the Mariners make. It's a revolving door of baseball players. You go there for a year, you up your stock, you lower your stock, and you're out. They're just like an investment team. I think they've got, I think they've got a big free agent signing in them. Um, and I, I guess, you know, I'll, we say this for Milwaukee all the time, I, I would assume they don't. Um, like they, you know, Jesse Winker, again, I, he's got a chance, right? Like it, it really, look at his baseball card. It's one not great year and a year when offense was down, hitting in a new division, hitting in a new league, hitting at one of the toughest stadiums, um, you know, hitter-wise. He goes back to the NL Central. Um, so, you know, it, whether it's injury or new league or whatever it was, you know, I, I wouldn't be shocked if Jesse Winker has a really nice year for them, like you're saying, Trev. A, a really fun clubhouse. I mean, Yelly, Willie, Rowdy, uh, Jesse. Mm. Uh, Luis Urias, he was nice, too. So, um I don't know. You, we know the Brewers are a really well-run organization. I guess amongst the Central, I don't know what it means yet because you know Cubs are making big rumors. Um, I think Cards are still the the alpha dog there for now, but we we know the Brewers are well-run, man. Did you hear this Farmer quote about the I Reds? Kyle Farmer mm. of the Twins, Trev's Minnesota Twins. Well, not in his heart. I'm talking about where he wants to be in his heart. Oh. He said, no one understands that everyone wants to play in Cincinnati. They want to be in Cincinnati. Castellanos wants to be back in Cincinnati. Sonny Gray wants to be back in Cincinnati. Wade Miley wants to be back in Cincinnati. Tucker wants to be back. Everyone who comes there wants to stay in Cincinnati. It's not like people who leave are happy to leave. It's that they just can't keep them around. It's kind of sad. Everybody loves Cincinnati. It's a sad thing that we all can't stick around. Sounds like the Scooter Gang is what? torn up yeah. about being broken mm. up, and a lot of those guys have gone to Minnesota, where it sounds like they're miserable. Mm. <laughs> it sounds like Kyle Farmer is talking about the Scooter Gang and not actually baseball. Yeah, yeah, I think I think, that's that's I think he's about. saying like the Scooter Gang. We need context with that. Yeah, he's yeah. like, actually, I'm not talking well, about Cincinnati I, I, Reds. I'm talking also about also like more con- Cincinnati. more context as he said this at Reds Fest. Kyle Farmer, not Kyle, <laughs> Kyle Farmer. You know he hasn't gotten his big boy contract yet, too. So I think in Cincy, you know your your dollar goes a, a long way. But yeah, that's that sounds like Scooter Gang Reds talk at Reds Fest. Was he even in the Scooter Gang? Because like, if he's in the Scooter Gang and I'm not, then I don't know. Get uh, me to Reds Fest yesterday. Everyone's red. <laughs> There's a lot of red there. There's like two. Festivals at the same convention center. One's the baseball team, and the other is just a color. Mm. So everything's red. Mm. You're looking for Red Fest. What's the color factory in? It's called Color Factory. It's a cool place in New York City. Head there. 